Welcome to Bangkok's Suvarnabhumi Airport. In this video, we are going to look at different types of transportation to get from the airport into the heart of central Bangkok, including the airport rail link, taxis, and buses. If you are coming into Bangkok through the Suvarnabhumi Airport in the near future, this transport guide will help traveling from the airport into central Bangkok much easier. After you have gotten past the immigration and claimed your baggage, you will then arrive at the arrival hall in the airport. The arrival hall in the Suvarnabhum Airport is on the second floor and most of the transportation are located on the first and B floor, which is the base floor. After grabbing the essentials, including a SIM card and exchange some local currencies, which is the Thai Baht, it's time to head into the heart of Bangkok. I've also made another guide for the Sumphanubum Airport, including where to find SIM cards, where to exchange money, and the kind of food you can expect at the airport. I will leave a link to that video at the end of this video and a link in the description below. First, we are going to head to the B floor, which is the base floor in the airport, for the airport rail link. And later in the video, we'll explain more on buses and taxis. The airport rail station is located in the center of B floor. Follow the signs and it is easy to find and will only take you a few minutes to get there. The Bangkok Airport Metro Train, also known as the Airport Rail Link, connects the Suvarnabhumi Airport to central Bangkok. Many travellers find it a safe and expensive alternative compared to transports such as the taxi and buses. For most travellers heading into central Bangkok with the railway system, you will have two main options. Head to the Makassan station and exchange to the Pechaburi MRT station where you have access to the MRT underground system. Or you can choose to exit at the Priya Thai station and interchange with the green BTS line, taking the SkyTrain to other parts of Bangkok. If you are heading into Asok, Nana, then exiting at the Makassan station and exchanging with the MRT will be faster. If your next destination is sitting on the BTS SkyTrain line or the dark green line including Silom, then head towards the Priya Thai station. Ultimately, both stations will be great for connecting you into the heart of Bangkok and it really depends on where you are heading into next. Now let's grab our ticket and head into central Bangkok. In this video, we will exit from the Priya Thai station. It is the most straightforward station to head into central Bangkok with the least walking to interchange with other train lines. The ticket will cost 45 baht, which is just a little bit over one USD and the machines will only take coins and notes. If you're looking for other ways to pay, head towards the ticket counters with staff personnel. The train operates from 5.30 in the morning until midnight at 12 p.m. and takes only around 30 minutes to reach downtown Bangkok, which is extremely fast and a sure way to avoid the Bangkok traffic. If you are traveling on the airport rail link close to midnight, make sure to double check the opening time for the MRT underground system and the BTS SkyTrain systems. I will leave a link to those timetables in the description. After the train has arrived, wait for a few minutes for the security and cleaners to check on the train first before boarding the train. The airport rail being elevated 28 meters above ground is also a great way to enjoy the view in the wonderful city. The rich parts of central Bangkok 
is a very small part of the city and the view from the airport rail link gives us a perspective on the outer part of Bangkok. We have now arrived at the Priya Thai Airport Rail Station. Follow the signs and head towards the BTS SkyTrain station. It is only one floor below the Priya Thai Airport Rail Station and less than five minutes walk away. Purchase a ticket like you did before or you can show your passport at one of the counters and purchase a rabbit card which is useful and easy to top up plus you can use the rabbit card at other places like some of the food courts in Bangkok. After that, double check the BTS map and make sure you are heading to the right platform. However, if you are travelling in a big group or are carrying a lot of baggage, then I would suggest taking the taxi. Let's head back to the airport and show you where you can find a taxi at the airport. Like we have mentioned earlier in the video, the buses and taxis are located on the first floor of the airport. There are actually three types of taxis available in the airport. The first one is the regular taxis, the large taxi, which are SUVs that can carry more baggages, and the short distance taxis. To get a taxi at the airport, head down the queue lines and grab a ticket. The ticket will point you to a certain lane where a taxi will be waiting for you. But bear in mind, there will be an initial 50 baht taxi fee at the airport. After that, the total taxi fare will be calculated by a taxi meter. So the total cost will depend on how far your destination is. Make sure you communicate with the driver and make it clear exactly where you are heading to. If there is a confusion, do not hesitate to ask for help from the airport staff. There are also additional costs for baggage in some scenarios. Example, for a very large baggage over 26 inches or extra cost for very large sports items and etc. These are clearly stated on the tickets as well as information board in front of the ticket counters. Next, we are going to talk about the buses at the airport. Situated on the first floor as well, head towards entrance 8. There is an express bus for 60 baht. For under 2 USD, it will head to the Kaosan Road area. If you are looking for more public buses, take a free shuttle and head towards the bus transportation centre, where you will find many public bus lines heading into other parts of Bangkok for only 35 baht, which is only about 1 US dollar. Visit the website shown here, it displays how to use a shuttle bus and has information on all the public bus lines. For long distance travellers looking to head into Pattaya, Hua Hin, Ko Chang and other places, at the first floor near gate 8, there are a few counters 
selling bus or coach tickets to these destinations. Purchase ticket, all the prices will be shown at the counters. Head out of gate 8, get past the taxi lane, and you will find many long distance buses and coaches taking you to other beautiful parts of Thailand. Knowing which transport to take before you even land at Bangkok Airport will save you a lot of time and possibly quite a bit of money as well. And every baht saved helps you pay off for cheap and wonderful Thai foods all around the country. For even more information on the city of Bangkok, check out some of the informational videos here.